Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to share with you this shabby chic pillow that I created on a live in Nicola Mason's Facebook group, and I'll put a link to her uh, Facebook group below. She does lives um, very often and always has a special guest. It's a good time. It's fun, so make sure you follow the link and join in. And uh, we did pillows, and so I uh, sewed up a pillow on Monday night when I was off of work, and I, of course, made it too big. I started with an old sheet, and I covered that with lace, and then I gave it boxed uh, corners so that it would uh, lay nice and not be too fat in the middle for me to decorate. And that worked out really good, but I honestly just, I made it too big. <laughs> but, you know, that's okay. We worked with it and it's fine it's beautiful um, I started by using this beautiful trim from Angel Dream Crafts I think I have some of it maybe over here on my desk still it's so pretty so I use that beautiful lace along here and then along the top also and then I went around it with this um, beautiful polka dot lace it's really long it's all the way from there to here uh, I got it Hobby Lobby and then on top of that I put this double layered ruffle lace that I had in my stash and then I put this flower trim with these dangles that I got from a friend I used that for the edge and it didn't have uh, any bling it was blank in the middle these blings are from Angel Dream Crafts and they come in I forget how many is in a bag but they're just like these individual gorgeous blings so that's where those came from and so then I decided I was going to use this little angel image and I cut out the middle of a heart Battenberg doily to put the image in and I decided I wanted to bulk up the one side of the pillow under the image with uh, just beautiful yummies so there is three dangle trims <laughs> from Angel Dream Crafts. She has such a beautiful, um, or, yeah, what's it called? A beautiful selection <laughs> of dangles. Get out the words, get out the words. So let me see if I can show you which dangles I actually used. So this is the bottom dangle that I used from Kim Shop. And then on top of it, I used this one. And then on top of all of that, I use this beautiful dangle lace and I don't know if you can see it anywhere. You can see a little bit of it peeking out from underneath there, but this one is my favorite because I think it's because the dangles are so dainty and I love the color and the shine. So I wanted that one on top and then I just bulked up lace underneath and I did use some of my favorite polka dot tool trim from Angel Dream Crafts and now I'm out. So I'll be heading over there myself and getting some more of that because I just love it. So I've got that coming um, from underneath the one side of the Battenberg heart. And then uh, I decided to put an applique along this whole side. And I love the way that looks. And then I made a bow and I'm not sold on this bow yet. I'm not sure something about it. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if it needs to be bigger. I'm not sure what's going on. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. The bow, yes or no. And if not the bow, then what? So I mean, something needs to go here. I mean, I love the way it's dangling. All the dangling bits. And it does have one of Kim's uh, buckle slider hearts in the middle, which is pretty. I just, uh, I can't decide. So I don't know. But I have a link to, uh, of course, Nicholas Facebook group and to Kim's Etsy shop. And I'll put a link below to all the other designers on the team, of which Nicola is one too. And I would love to know what you think. So please leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.